Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Today's repair is the uh, impression, dual impression cable on a Selectric 2 or 3, uh, even a Selectric 1. It's all the same procedure. What we'll be talking about is this, uh, this cable right here. It connects to the side of the cable carrier is pretty important. What it does is uh, lowers the impression on the uh, period, comma, dash, underscore, and some of these uh, other characters here. Otherwise they will punch a hole right through the uh, paper, through the ribbon, because they hit too hard. So what that cable does is it lowers the the impression of the ball hence dual impression but these do break on a very regular basis and I'll show you what the mechanism is over here so if we move this out of the way it's kind of hard to see from here it's down in here I'll flip this up we'll take a look Show you where it usually breaks. It also can just get sticky too, and that can be a problem and have to be replaced. The cable. So, that cable comes out right. Let me get my right here, and it connects to here. And what usually happens is the cable breaks. That little piece off right here connects to the cable inside of there. So there's the cable. It's held on by a little spring here. And it, it feeds up through here. But it needs to have that end on it. Like that. And then it needs to move freely in that. So either the end breaks or it gets so gummed up it won't it won't move. And if it doesn't move, you've got to take it out because it's just gummed up in the whole shaft of this cable. So so that's got to come off. We loosen the screw here. The tricky part is turn this thing off so it's not as noisy. tricky part is this thing runs up through down there up across here it mounts with this little piece right here and then it circles around and goes underneath the carrier to no man's land under here so what I did for demonstration purposes is Got me into the carrier. Let me take a look here. So that's the way it goes. There's our little piece that connects to the frame. And then the carrier moves back and forth like this. So that's what you see is this cable. Let's not worry about the rotate bands. I'm worried about this cable. So when we flip it on its back, like the machine is on its back right here, what we're going to see, we're going to be able to get to the bottom of this carrier and see where it attaches. This is where it gets a little tricky. So what you need to do, what I'm going to do is get up in there and loosen this screw right here and take this bracket out. So that comes out. So this very small. Take it all the way out. Very small screw. That's going to allow this bracket to slide off this frame right here. And um, it also to be noted it goes underneath this through this little wire 
assembly right here that keeps it tight against the carrier. So all this all this wire does is keep it tight. So we're going to take a, take this black tab off here like that. Once it gets loose, you can manipulate this piece out of its little holder and there it is. And then you have to you have to remove this tab. This is just spring steel and it will come off of here. That's a little bit of manipulating. Like that. Take this piece all the way off. Okay. That's a very important little piece. Set it aside. Then, this is going to be done while the carrier's in, in the machine. Uh, it's going to unfeed through this, fit right through there. And it's going to come on out of there. And then I'll have the cable off. Like this. And this cable. This cable's actually broken too. My tab's missing on that end, so. Next step is take this cable and we're going to transfer this bracket to the new. Uh, cable. And a couple things we got to watch for here. Let's keep these pieces over here. There's different lengths, so there's 11 inch, 13 inch, and 15 inch. So we need to get the right length, so there's, here's two cables. If we put them up, on this side, and run them through, you'll see there's two different sizes. We're definitely going to want the 15 inch, which is going to be this one. Now let's set that other cable aside. And what we're going to do is transfer this little piece. A lot of times the new cable will have a little mark on here. Right where that goes, but I don't I don't see it on this cable. So we're just going to do it uh, the eyeball way. So let's set these two down, get them centered up here. So that's where, that's where it goes, right there. We're gonna, we're gonna mark it ourselves. So it goes. Not very easy to see. It's not showing up very good. Let's try. A, let's try a brighter marker. That's a little better. Okay, so it's going to go right on that mark. And now I need to get a tool here and get this piece off. So this piece is a little, just got to grab it and uh, just force. Get it without any. This is a pretty tricky job getting that off of there. Let's use something else.
Okay, so there's the bracket. There's a little line. We can see that, so that just uh, be able to squeeze that right up through there, just like that. Goes on much easier. Okay, so that's in the right position. So now we got our cable. Good on the side. Good on the side. I'm gonna set this aside. We're going to remove the one in the typewriter, which is the tricky part. So, like I said, you got to get these screws off the bottom of the carrier. You got to leave the carrier right about there, and we can get we can get up in there. With a screwdriver. And loosen that screw. I have to reach in there with my Just add some pull the screw out of there. Okay, so there's the screw. And then we gotta manipulate that bracket off. And take the little loop off the and then pull it out this way as much as you can. Like that. So now we get this piece access to this little bracket that we gotta remove from the cable right here. And just remove that. Okay, so we get the little bracket. Now that's off the end there, and we're going to pull this cable out through that. Remember, we're going to pull it out around that little wire piece right there. So we can do that from the top. <coughs> so. There's our cable get to it from the side and just pull it through the and there it comes <clears throat> so now we got it off it's broken so that's why it's extended out here so now let's move the carrier out of the way this way and we can grab this bracket and just pull it off the frame like that. Pull this through. So now we got our bracket and then it, it feeds down through here. So now we got to loosen <coughs> loosen this screw where the cable connects and we're going to undo this spring only thing the spring does is uh, hold the cable and doesn't interfere with anything else. But it is kind of important, so. Take it off. I'm going to loosen this guy right here. Just got to loosen it. Don't need to take it off. Just got a, a clamp kind of bracket. And it, We'll release that. Take a note that it goes between this rod and that link. So make a note that goes right there. And now it's just about out. So 
there it is. Broken end, centerpiece, attaches under the carrier. So let's just set that aside. We got our new cable here somewhere. There's our new cable. The big end goes that way, so there's the big end compared to the little end. So we can go ahead and start by just sticking the guide right here in the center frame, squeezing it down. We're going to feed this one through just the way we took it out of here. And let's do this side. So that goes up between these two right here. Oops, there we go, right there. This little spring can connect up. Like I said, that's just kind of a... That just kind of holds it in place. Holds it in there. So it doesn't rub against the other links. And and there's like I said, there's a little platform in there, so squeeze this up through that loosened platform, clamp, dealy, and that gap up a little bit. up here so there she comes through there and we can go ahead and manipulate this around this little hook here where it attaches and go ahead and get this attached up here in this little arm right there Okay, now, oh, I'm not sure it's still in the bracket, it's not, it is, okay, I'm going to, got to remove this again here. eked its way out of the brackets. Okay, you'll be able to see this a lot better. I'm going to tighten up that bracket just a little bit so it doesn't slip out of place again. And we're going to connect this piece up, manipulate this. around this uh, where it belongs like that to start off with that cable comes right to the edge there and uh, just start out with it right on the edge see that cable sticking out a little bit Right there, just start as that as a starting point and tighten up this cable bracket. 
Oops. Let's pull that through just a little bit more. There we go, right there. Okay, so this is secure. This is the right place here. And uh, we go back up to the top here. So, we've got it coming up through here, through the guide. Now let's move this carrier this way. We're going to slip this through. There it is, coming over here, and here she is. Everything looks good. Next step is to, and this is kind of a tricky part because it's really hard to see down in here. So when the carrier's down like this, carrier's down there like that, what we're going to try to do is get it through between this wire right here. This little, right through this little gap right there. And I'm going to need a flashlight for this. And uh, Once you get that through there, you can move the carrier back to this position or so. And let's uh, flip it back. We'll be able to pull the, reach in here and pull this out the rest of the way. Okay, so now we got the cable protruding right there. And we need to stick that bracket back on there. So, here's one of the brackets. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Okay. So, this bracket goes. The screw goes down there and it self taps into there. Just kind of got to look and see how it works. So this goes on the shelf like that. It goes like that so the cable squeezes up right between these two spots here. This cable's going to go right. Through here. You can separate that with your thumb. So there it is, right there. It's really hard to see, but... Now, I'll pull the slack through and take up some of the slack here. Let's see if I can get to this. Okay. So 
I'm going to reach in here and pull up, pull this back out to, this is where it's pretty much, cannot get a camera up in here to see how this connects, but. doing is it's going to slip that bracket on let's see carry it right it slips on this piece of metal and attaches to that piece right there I'm going to slip this on and uh Catch it. This is going to be it's one of the trickier, trickier jobs. I don't know if you can see up in here at all, but you actually you can. That's the bracket right all right there. So stick this down in here, and the first thing I'm going to do is. Connect the tip. Okay, some position. Next thing you do is put that screw back down in there. It's in there. <clears throat> it's in there, it's in there, it's in there. Now, what we need to do is adjust it. So, let's, let's power this bug up and just run it a few times and make sure everything is in place. Looks good. Definitely not uh, adjusted. The trigger over here, if you don't know already. Is right here. This is what pulls when the certain characters. You can see that move. Other characters it doesn't move. But the characters we want, it does move, so this is the trigger. When that triggers, uh, it engages that cable, makes that arm move down here. So there's a there's a rough adjustment to this to start with, and then a fine tune adjustment. 
And one of the one thing you can do is you can actually pull this cable like this right here and see if it's moving the mechanism in here. So that's what I'm going to do now. Let's see if it's getting any movement, and it's it's not. I'm going to adjust this inside here first. It's a little bit, the cable's sticking a little bit too far. It's kind of like this one where it was butted right up against the edge. And it needs to kind of be butted against that little bracket that we put in there. So I'm just going to loosen that and adjust that cable off. More closer to the bracket. Alright, let's get this. There we go. Yeah, this is gonna do it. I'm gonna tighten this one up. It's here. So now if I pull this cable, you can see the movement in here. I don't know if you can see it, but see that move that piece right here when I'm pulling the cable? Pull, pull, pull. That's going to it's going to lighten the impression. When the characters are hit, let's see if this works. So, it's definitely working. So, you can have paper in there and try it, but I can hear it. So, it's got a certain sound, and then when I engage this, button here. It's got a lighter sound. It's loud. Light. Loud. Lights. So it's an adjustment. Um, you can try it when it's over here and when it's all the way over here. That way the uh, <clears throat> this cable when it's stretched and stuff to smack this itself it's still working so let's try it. Yep, over there. Over there. So I think we're good. Make sure everything is tight. Tighten this back to make sure that's tight. Good. That's it. Impression cable installed. On an IBM Selectric, this is a Selectric 3. Dual impression cable replaced. Alright. Phoenix Typewriter, good day.